Hello and welcome to SBC. Today we are trying a restoration. And this is the subject of restoration. It's old, crusty, sticky, dirty tape recorder from the 80s. Nothing is missing. As you see here something sticking on top of it, maybe paint. And here is some juice. <laughs> don't know what it is. I don't want to know what it is. Okay. Nothing is broken. That's a good start. Okay. Now, let's put a piece of paper under it and first of all we open it, take a look in it. Who's the open button? Pause. Ah, stop, I checked. Hmm? I checked first. Let's turn it around and unscrew it. Okay, how did we open this thing up? Okay, so not those things. Okay, quite easy. The speaker is glued in. 4 ohms, 3 watts, ok, looks not so bad, ok, so let's far. try to remove the speaker, because for the glue and sticky shit under the other side, ok, I have to do this off camera, ok, it's a real problem to bring the speaker out, because they sealed it with super glue, instead of hot glue. So I have to break this tab here in order to remove it. So now we can remove it. It's a bit dirty but not too bad. Now we can give this one a good clean. And later go back to the mechanical part. It's time to give it a good clean. So now it's really soapy and I start with really hot water to clean it. Next off, I'm using an old toothbrush to clean it even more. That's why you shouldn't throw them away when they're old. Put it in your cleaning kit and clean everything you want. It needs cleaning, like a toilet or a tank. You know it's trying to burn up in the military. Yeah. Yes, as, as a soldier you have to do this with your toilet and your main toothbrush. Not with an old spare one. Yeah, 
Okay, let's do this. Good for a tank, it's good for a table cutter. Except for mud and combat situations. That's oh, really dirty. <coughs> Later my wife gets it back. <laughs> clear it is now okay you can see actually like to nothing uh, next to nothing uh, it's because of the fog better now also now mm -hmm. it's clean you can eat from it but don't eat from it because I have cleaned it okay so the keys, nice and clean, everything nice and clean. We have just to try it now, wipe it a bit. So now we are finally on the part for the reassembling. And because I can't find my hot glue gun and I want to use super glue or something, I show you a little trick. I have here a candle and a lighter with a beer bottle opener. So, first the lighter candle. And, uh, so, it burns. First, you put the speaker back in. So, like this. Perfect. And what we're doing now is I just take this candle here and hold this hot glue gun stick beside the flame, not direct in the flame, just beside the flame. And as you see the hot glue gun stick is not quite transparent. I twist it a bit to keep it from from uh, burning. And when it starts to get transparent, it becomes liquid. So we are close. And the twisting also helps it from not dripping off. You see it, it comes more transparent and more. Really nice. And now I just put a piece of it on this beaker here. And that's it. Well, you don't need a hot glue gun. Just 
press it on it and it's perfect. Just with the stick. Okay, so now with speaker reinstalled, we are about to reinstall the keys. Philips uses a lot of this type of keys and I like it because it is easier to clean. With the keys back in position, we are now about to put the lid back on. So, finally it's restored. And now it's time to put a tape in and here is what it sounds like. Not bad, not bad. I like it. I really like it. It turned out very, very nice. Let's put all the tape in it. Something else. Like this. It's more ages like. Whatever. Yes, I find this restoration was quite successful. And here are a close up. I mean, the glass is still scratched a bit, but I can't polish it because of the Philips logo. And here we got the computer compatible cassette recorder. Because this is computer compatible. We used recorders like this in the 80s to record data on it from the Commodore or ZX Spectrum Sinclair home computer. A quite nice little tape recorder. Now very clean and good sounding. Surprisingly good sounding. Yeah, of course it's Philips. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Press the like button and if you haven't enjoyed it, this was my first uh, attempt of a restoration uh, from a thing without wheels. So, subscribe to the channel, I will do a couple of restorations <coughs> like this um, and I have restored this recorder not just for putting it in a box. I have restored this for a documentary about the rise and fall of tape recorders, then with a better voiceover. So goodbye and see you next time.